Draw a water pizza with pepperonis as lily pads. I got you. I started off by googling a bunch of images of pizza. Kind of made me really hungry to be honest. After that I did a quick sketch. I like to do it in red just so I don't take it seriously. After that I went and found more reference images. This one I'll use for the colors. I also found some koi fish and then some other lake references and ponds. Skipping ahead I started to do the line work. I just turn down the opacity of the sketch and then just draw over it. The lily pads kind of look like little Pac-Mans. I'm trying to stay zoomed out while I draw so I can keep the composition good. Also always flipping the canvas every five minutes. I went and dropped in some color. Now I'm just coloring in all the green Pac-Mans. I mean lily pads. I also brought in some flower references. I think eating rocks as crust would be kind of difficult, but this looks pretty tasty overall. For the lines underneath the water, I used a separate layer and then I turned down the opacity so they don't look as dark. I wanted to have a lot of rocks underneath the water just for that extra crunchiness. This is where I just zone out and start listening to podcasts. I play with the values a bit here and then I started adding shadows. You can see there's kind of a disconnect from the shadow, like it's almost floating. I like to do this effect to make the water seem really clear and inviting. I also added some highlights to give some light. I imagined it to be a nice sunny day on the water pizza. Here I'm adding shadows on the outside, behind the rocks, to make it pop just a little bit more. I guess the rocks kind of just hold the water in, kind of like a beaver dam or something. Like, who ordered this pizza? I imagine it would be pretty large, I don't know how you would deliver it. This would be pretty cool to have in your backyard though. Now I'm going over each rock and adding little highlights. I imagine they'd be kind of wet, so I want them to glisten a little bit. Also, I just remembered I forgot the koi fish, so I'm just going to go ahead and add that in real quick. Like, who has a lily pad pond without koi fish? Like, what's the point even? Like, you might as well just get a new pond. Like, why are you doing this if you don't have fish in there? Again, I just colored them and then turned down the opacity to make it seem like they're underwater. But yeah, after that, I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, here's the full image. Thanks for watching. If you want me to do yours next, just leave a comment down below.